Yeah. So I had a, cri- a critic um, comment on scotthenry.com about um, my article, The Problem with Problematicism. In fact, it's the guy who um, sent in the original uh, email to Barbell Logic. And, <clears throat> you know, he makes all kinds of accusations. And you can see you can see on the, the blog post that I'm getting ready to put up that, that I think I – well, it's already up. It's called Further Problems with Problematicism. You can see that um, that I – address them not in the way that he probably wanted me to but I do um, I, I think that even when people mean well and they use this word they're probably in the service of evil um, he gave me a couple of examples one of them is about getting married and how getting married can be pop- problematic and then he also uses an example of which he which he took from my post to be fair where whiteness is problematic um, and and I and I and I respond here that uh, even well people who are in the service of evil and unknowingly use this word um, don't don't really realize that this word has been designed to rhetorically smear things that evil wants discredited. Um, Any time that we have a choice in front of us, um, we could say that something was problematic. You know, sitting down at a restaurant and looking at the menu could be problematic. But people never say that. They never use this word for kind of pedestrian stuff like that, or they rarely do, or when they do, they're being funny. What they, when they use the word, is almost always used to smear and impeach, you know, like treasured cultural norms. Uh, there are some people that understand this propaganda. There are other people. There are people that understand um, the rhetorical use of this. Uh, there's a book called. Propaganda by Ed, um, by Bernays B E R N A Y S, where he just des- where he describes how these kinds of things can be done, and um, some folks understand that this is this is the game and this is what's being done. And uh, Vincius Mulbug would say those people are where the high priests of the cathedral and the other people that use these tools that have been designed by them are really just useful idiots. And um, I'm not saying that they're dumb, but that's a term that we that that is used. Uh, for people who are in the service of evil unknowingly through their unthinkingness or their uh, uh, their, their their blindness, uh, but I, I'll never convince people of my view on this. If they um, if one if they live in Southern California, they're never going to come to believe me on this. Uh, if they don't believe in an active malevolent force of evil, um, if they went to college before 1998 or even oh, um, for anything other than uh, engineering, they're not going to believe me. Uh, if they don't understand category errors, they they don't believe me. I'm going to do a blog post about category errors and hopefully, which is a little Aristotelian logic um, concept that is very, very important. And uh, people who get mad before they understand all my arguments. But this guy this guy leveled some criticisms of me. I'll read a few. Uh, well, not really criticisms, but he says, I'll keep it simple for you so I don't that you don't get confused. Hmm. And he says, kudos to you for your stunning lack of self-awareness. And then he says, listening to, well, I'll skip that one, and you can go to scotthamburg.com if you want to see it. Uh, And finally, about the word itself, he says, your obsession with stamping it out in other people is weird, along with your use of language like sneaky and evil and the enemy in combination with the word. Maybe you're the asshole on the topic, he says. Um, I want you all to judge who the asshole is. but he's right about the obsession because um, I'm obsessed with stamping out evil. I truly believe that this misuse of language, um, whether people recognize it as a misuse or not, whether they're confused by it or not, like this gentleman is, um, is evil. And uh, stamping this out and fighting this and being accept with it, uh, obsessed with it is how we protect the good, the beautiful, and the true. So... Um, you know, anybody that's going to act like this on my blog is going to get blocked, and this guy's been blocked. Uh, he's going to claim that I'm butt hurt. I'm not butt hurt, um, but um, there are kinds of behavior that I accept, and there are kinds of behavior I don't accept. And he has trod on that. Um, but I think it's, I, I think that this problematism problematicism uh, problem um, needs to be further addressed. And there are other words that are in common use that um, that I think are evil and need to be addressed as well. And I'm going to continue to work on that. And uh, the useful idiots and maybe even the high priests um, 
are probably going to bristle at those things, but that's okay. Um, you can go read the rest of this blog post there. You can read it at scotthamburg.com. I'll push out this uh, to YouTube, and, of course, it'll be on Instagram Live where it already is. And I will also um, put out the audio as a um, podcast there at Scott Stream, so you can go check that out. Thanks.